Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us is the latest generation for the Chevrolet Colorado. This is the ZR2 Bison finished off in summit white. We'll go over the MSRP once we go over all these specs and features that this ZR2 Bison has to offer once we go over all of that. So let's start off with what powers the Colorado. This has a 3.6 liter V6 paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. It pumps out 308 horsepower, 275 pound-feet of torque. That power set to the rear wheels. However, this also has the four-wheel drive system. Weighs in right around 4,000 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in four seconds. And it also has a fuel economy around 16 miles per gallon in the city, 18 out on the highway. And this even has ground clearance of almost 11 inches with a really good approach and departure angle. So let's move on to all the goodies that you get with the ZR2 Bison full steel front bumper with this uh, contrasting color right in the middle. There's also skid plates up underneath. We have this roll bar here along with what I'll call the bull bar right in the middle. So it's nice to have that added protection. A lot of cutouts basically right in the center of that bumper too. And then for the uh, normal Colorado, you get the uh, grill here with Chevrolet, which is hollow, plenty of cooling for that engine. Now, surprisingly, you do not get LED headlights or fog lights, but they have a nice design to them. Turn signal is right on the inner housing there, or the lower section. And then for the hood, we have this black right in the middle of the hood scoop, basically, or the hood bulge there with some really nice lines that run down it. So it gives it that aggressive appearance for this midsize truck. You can also see a lot of that front tire too with how short the front bumper is. Hopefully you can see the Multimatic suspension as well. And for this side, this gets a set of massive pocket style fender flares, which add around three and a half inches of width to this truck. This has a really nice set of 17 inch wheels with the Goodyear all-terrain tires. Now, surprisingly, it does not have rock sliders. Those are just standard running boards to enter and exit. We have two-tone for the side mirrors, some black surrounding the middle section, as well as the window trim there, and good lines running down the side with the crew cab and the shorter bed. It's very proportional all around. And then you'll notice the ZR2 Bison sticker is on the back of the bed and the entire rear bumper is steel. We have this roll tubing here on the side. So if you come down on rocks, you're going to keep that very well protected. I have done that on my truck, not the uh, same bumper there, but that is definitely going to come in very, very handy. Now this also has a backup camera. Chevrolet is stamped right in the middle of that tailgate and this can tow right around 5,000 pounds. And they even managed to stuff a full size spare up underneath, which is pretty cool to see. So let's go ahead and remote start this just by locking it and holding this button. You will hear it come to life. You can push on this button to shut it off if you need to. From there, I can unlock it. Now there's no tailgate release or any other buttons, but this does have the easy soft open tailgate. So just by pulling on that, it will slowly lower. And we even have the full spray in bed liner to give you that added protection for whatever items you wanna throw in the back. There's also several tie down hooks as well. And then the tailgate is very lightweight. So that is easy to close. Now, as we work our way to the back seats now, the door panel is pretty simple, all black. We do have a little bit of a different trim piece surrounding that window control as well as on the release handle. But it's nice to see that split level for the door panel. Now for the interior, full leather seats, and then there's even some hidden storage space up underneath the seat. By releasing that lever, you can lock the uh, bottom seat up here and you have plenty of storage up underneath, which is nice to see. And then you can release that and easily close it. Now with the sidestep, makes it much easier, of course, to jump up into this truck. We're at five foot 10, I have a good amount of space. There's auxiliaries in the middle and a little bit of storage underneath that. And then right in the middle is the armrest along with two cup holders. And this even has the manual sliding rear glass. So you can open and close that as needed. And there's plenty of visibility. Pickup trucks hardly have any blind spots because they are so open on the interior. Now the driver door panel is just like the rear, plenty of storage, all the window controls. This even has the seven speaker Bose audio sound system. ZR2 is down on the door sill. And then for the company that produces the Bison package, their logo is up in the headrest. We have the automatic adjustments for these front seats as well. 
And then as we look at the steering wheel now, completely covered in solid leather, we have all the uh, cruise control settings on that left side, even the heated steering wheel control. On the right side is Bluetooth and voice commands and all the dials to go through that infotainment system for the center gauge cluster. So with the turnkey, let's bring this back to life. Very interesting to see that it still has a turnkey and the audio always pops up. I don't understand that. But for this gauge cluster, you'll see on the left side is the tack, right side is the miles per hour. There's also the fuel gauge and another engine vital for the temperature up top. And then to go through all of the information just underneath that, you have quite a lot that you can go through. We have the distances, your averages. You can also look at a lot more vitals here, TPMS. You have all this, even your off-road settings. So pitch and roll along with the degrees for the steering wheel. And then we can pull up music. You can also pull up the navigation or the phone there. We do have some demo modes at the moment, uh, but then you have a lot more information that you can scroll through just depending on what you'd like to see. On the back side of the steering wheel is also volume and tuning for the radio. So it's nice to have those. Now on this left side, there's the headlight and fog light adjustments along with the four wheel drive selector. There's also the trailer braking system and one air vent. And right in the middle, we have the touchscreen system where you can go through a lot more. So with the icons that you currently see, there's Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can go into your climates, my Chevrolet, even with the split style, you can pull up music, phone, and navigation all at once. Now there's also shortcuts underneath this, where you can quickly pull up some of this information as needed. And then there's also physical buttons for that screen. We do have power and volume for the radio on this left side. On the right side, you can actually use this to further go through that info. So if you do not wanna use the touch screen, you can do that. There's also a button for home and then tuning in the middle. Now for the climates, the fan speed is on the left side, temperature is on this right side, and you have where you'd like the air to go easily laid out. So it's very easy to understand all of that. Underneath that, there's a row of toggles for traction control, along with the rear and front lockers, the hazards. There's also a trailering system, downhill assist control, and the light for the cargo area. These are also heated seats, so you have two different adjustments for that on both sides. A Little bit of storage along with some more auxiliaries. There are two cup holders in the middle. And then for the backup camera, you can see the guidelines, as well as a guideline for a trailer. So when you're backing up, you can easily line up. And then with this in drive, there is a plus and minus on the side. So you can shift using this. If you're towing or you're off-roading, you can even use the low range gear if you need to. Now there's a wireless charging pad right in the middle and then a good amount of storage space in the center armrest. The glove box also has a good amount of room for all the information. Up top, there's dome lights, even a sunglass holder, which is really convenient to have as well. And then just another look at visibility from the driver's seat. And then with another minor acceleration, definitely has plenty of power for this truck and what you're going to be doing with it. It's not a zero to 60 vehicle, but it's got a good amount of power to get up and move. And from this angle, it's very open feeling. It's also very quiet too. It's a pretty solid truck. There's no wind noise, road noise for the roads that I'm doing today with these speeds, but it feels like a very composed truck. You sit pretty high up for a midsize truck too. And I love the bulge in that hood there. It's pretty cool to see that from the driver's seat. Just makes it a little bit more aggressive feeling from the driver's seat. So again, around $56,000 for this model. I would say this is pretty much fully loaded for the Colorado. You can get the ZR2 and then you can get the ZR2 with the Bison package. So it gives it a little bit more goodies like those bumpers that you wouldn't see on a regular ZR2 model. So for the top of the line version, you know, we're not pushing $60,000, which I would say would be way overpriced. 50 sticks is still a good amount of money. Uh, but if you want a brand new truck and you want a Colorado, something that is pretty capable for off-road situations with the ground clearance, and uh, everything, you really don't have to do anything to this truck to take it off the pavement. It looks like it's very capable in the off-road for, it looks like it's very capable in this stock configuration to take it off the pavement. So if you're not looking to do a lot of modifications to your truck, you wanna buy something brand new as is, I'm sure this has a warranty with all the parts and everything since it's built and uh, you can drive it right off the lot. So if, if that's what you're into, this is a pretty good option for being able to do that. 
But I think that's going to wrap it up for the all new or latest generation for the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition. Once again, a huge shout out to Randy Marin Chevrolet for providing this midsize truck for me today. Check out their website. Also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.